preface my video this morning with a caveat that I think everybody should be aware of because it's how I feel. There are a number of really horrible periods, eras, times, situations where what has been termed race has been used as an excuse for them having happened. I don't believe that that's a reasonable thing and I'm going to go into why today on the podcast. Today we're going to talk, in fact, on the subject of race, seriously, on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt, and today is Saturday, the 2nd of April of 2022. Uh, welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble, the podcast, YouTube, BitChute, Cloud Up, Fit My Facebook page. That's a Kurt's Religion and po Politics page on Facebook. Kurt's Religion and Politics.locals.com, Minds, M-I-N-D-S.com on the Kurt's Religion and Politics group, primarily there on Parlor, on Gab or, Gab or on Twitter, or wherever else you happen to be, uh, you know, catching me, finding me this morning. Subject, again, is going to be race. Seriously? And I'm going to go ahead and go through my notes, and then we'll kind of discuss things after that to give you an idea of exactly where we are. I get the idea that, for example... Children who, suppo who are supposedly black are being aborted in alarming numbers. Is that really a matter of race? Not in my mind. Don't get me wrong, I get there are people out there who would try to couch those events as race-based. And I'm talking about primarily the people who are trying to cause those abortions to happen. Or who have caused those, who've gotten people to, to do those abortions. What I want to make sure I clarify is this. Unlike Dinesh D'Souza, where I can talk about the differences between folks uh, from various parts of the world, I have zero time for the idea of race. I understand the desire to allow folks to do that, to use the race concept. I've said it before and will repeat it again today, you actually give certain folks excuses when you do such things. I have no intent to take away from events like the enslavement of so very many people from Africa and the United States and other parts of the world. It was a horrible period, and I can't say enough about how bad, in fact, it was. I also recognize there were people who tried to use, quote, race, end of quote, as an excuse for activities like that. <clears throat> that doesn't make what they used as their reasons for such horrendous things magically correct. I understand, too, that you can make arguments surrounding similar similarities and localities and so forth uh, where such things are concerned. So people in this area seem to be of one group and people of that area seem to be in an, of another. And that's where Dinesh D'Souza tends to lie on that, by the way as he'll talk about people from this this uh, cultural group, and the physical group, and that physical group, and he'll refer to it as race. Do you really want to support those folks who are doing bad things while they do them? I know the answer for me. I don't care where your family's from. I know people from all around the world who are absolute idiots. Sounds bad, right? Equally, though, I know folks from all over who make me look plain stupid. It, both exist out of all groups of people. You may think it's reasonable to tell me I can't ignore race. This is one we're not going to agree on. Short notes today. Short notes today. And that's okay, because I've got plenty to say about this. This is one of those where if I don't go over, you should be sort of surprised. Look. The reality is this. Race, if you look at how it's used, even in the scientific community, is not quite completely meaningless. Not quite completely meaningless. It's a ridiculous concept. We talk about, people like to use the old, there's only one race, human. Well, human isn't a race, it's a species. We, we literally don't even use that right, okay? We literally don't. So if you sit there telling me, well, you know, human is a race, I go, no, it's not. It's a species, and people, when they say the human race, are misusing that term. Black? Black. White. White, white. No, these are not races, these are arbitrary terms describing people. And again, as somebody pointed out, for a long time, the Irish were not, quote, white. 
Uh, Italians were definitely not white, right? The, this idea that um, everybody from Europe has always been considered white is a ridiculous idea. This idea that people from Africa are all the same is a ridiculous idea. It is a foolish idea. And as long as you're willing to act like those, that sort of thing is correct, you're going to buy into a concept like race. I get that it's an easy handle. I've had friends. I had a friend. I have a friend. I haven't talked to him in a while, but he's still a friend as far as I'm concerned, and I hope he considers me the same, who basically said you have to have some handle by which to grab certain things, and I get what you're saying, but I want you to be very clear in understanding on a reality. Race is not real. And part of the problem with that, let me make sure I, I make this very clear. Part of the problem with that is that when you say race, you do not mean the same thing as somebody else. Even if there's somebody you know really well, when you talk about race, I bet you that if you ask them to describe or define race, they wouldn't, wouldn't do it in the same way you would. That's just not how that works. So the point is, we've literally got this term. You know, I, I point out a lot. There are terms in the English language that get abused. I was talking to somebody about the one that used to be one of my mom's pet peeves. And it was the term, it's the term momentarily that everybody likes to use uh, to replace the expression in a moment. Okay, in a moment. Uh, it actually means, according to the original definitions that I grew up with, it actually meant for a moment. It, for a particular moment in time. So the lightning strike was momentary. It happened momentarily. It didn't happen five minutes from now. It happened in five minutes or in two minutes or in a minute or in 30 seconds, whatever it happens to be. You get what I'm saying? But my point is this. Those terms had some sort of original meaning. Race has never really had a legitimate meaning anywhere that I can see, not even in the scientific community. Now, if you're a scientist, and particularly if you're related to biology or things of that nature, maybe you can tell me, oh yeah, there's a definition for race and lay it out for me. But I'll make you a bet. If you can, and then you start talking about black as a race, you're, you're horribly confused and, and black will not meet your definition for a race. It won't happen won't be the meaning that you'll be using when you use it in the scientific community. That will not happen. I'm, I'm really pretty tired of people accepting this concept of race as if it's meaningful. And I need to say this again because I want to be real clear about it. Slavery was a horrible thing. Slavery here in the United States where people from Africa were gathered up often by people of their own uh, African kin and and put on the ships where many of them were left to die and a bunch of them jumped overboard so that they didn't have to uh, serve as slaves or, or live in the hor horrible time that was crossing that ocean. Uh, that was all horrible. It was terrible and it should never have happened. Uh, I was talking to my brother just uh, yesterday, I think it was, about the Ar Armenian genocide by the Turks. Uh, Armenia, uh, the Armenian people, that's not a race, that's a, that's a cultural group, and, and that's fair, but it's not a race, okay? It's just not. And the point is, I don't, I'm not holding with this idea that that's true. And I want to do something that I see a lot of people making a mistake on. I want to talk about Islam, about Muslims, and about the idea that it's racism to say things about Muslims. Is it wrong to say incorrect things intentionally hurtful or harmful things about Islamic people? Yes, it's wrong. Is it racism? No, it is not. They are not a race. They're not. So when you talk about this idea of racism, I look at it over and over again, and I come to the same conclusion every single time I do so. That's not what that is. They took the slaves because they saw that the cultures in which they found themselves were, in their opinion, backwards. They did not do it because of their supposed race. And I say this again, people who went to Hawaii, who were Chinese, for example, or from other places, Japanese, ended up in Hawaii not because of their, quote, race. They ended up in Hawaii because people were able to convince them there would be a better life for them in Hawaii than the one they had at home. That's what it was. And they were technically uh, indentured servants and sometimes slaves much of the time. 
okay this is this is what you need to understand slavery is not a real concept if we could come to some conclusion about it what about what it meant even as a people group in the united states that'd be one thing i don't think we can okay i'm over my time again so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up this is the daily summation it has been the daily summation from kurt's religion and politics i'm your host i'm kurt and today is saturday the 2nd of april 2022 that end of the sabbath at sunset or sundown today uh so for all of you who observe it i hope you're having a good sabbath today um tomorrow will be sunday the 3rd of april 2022 that will be of course the beginning of the christian week according to most christian folk out there um thank you for everyone who's been here on rumble on the podcast on youtube on bit shoot on cloud hub on my facebook page that's the kurtz religion and politics page on facebook on kurtz religion and politics dot locals dot com on minds in my nds dot com on the primarily on the kurtz religion and politics group there on parlor on gab on twitter or wherever else you happen to be finding me today subject for today has been race seriously tomorrow we're going to talk about a headline that i saw recently that i kind of want to discuss and i want to kind of in one sense express my ambivalence and in another sense express why what this what the subject is kind of bothers me a little bit the subject is boy in a skirt that is the subject for tomorrow uh hope you're doing well today hope everything is going well for you and hopefully we will see you again on sunday's edition of the daily summation from kurt's religion and politics the speaker on this edition of the daily summation is kurt shooter this podcast was recorded on Saturday, the 2nd of April of 2022. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's religion and politics. Thanks for watching today's edition of The Daily Summation from Kurt's religion and politics. Don't forget to come back tomorrow uh, to check out the next one. Remember, on various platforms, primarily Rumble, YouTube, BitChute, and CloudHub, and the audio podcast, you can subscribe to my content. For the audio podcast, you probably want to use Apple, Google, or Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify. In order to find me on those platforms, you can go to the Kurtz Religion and Politics channels on Rumble, YouTube, BitChute, and CloudHub. You can also get to my content on Facebook by finding the Kurtz Religion and Politics page there. Minds, M-I-N-D-S dot com, uh, you, where you will find me at the Kurtz Religion and Politics group. And Kurtz Religion and Politics dot locals dot com as well. You can look there. I post my daily video on various social media sites. Really only about three, Parlor, Gab, and Twitter at present. I am at KP Schubert on each of them. And you can find me under them and you can find the videos under me. Uh, you should be able to find my podcasts on Google and Apple Podcasts and Spotify. It's also on podcasts.kpshubert.com. That's podcasts with an S dot K-P-S-H-U-B-E-R-T dot com. Uh, if, if you're looking for me on various of the podcast sites, you probably want to search Kurt's Religion and Politics, not the Daily Summation. Keep in mind, you can subscribe to my content various on various places that I put it. Uh, all constructive feedback is welcome. You can like, dislike, add a rumble, or give whatever feedback is available on any of the platforms that you can do such things. You can add, also add a comment on what I put there. Unless you're advertising or doing something that I believe will harm others, I'll leave your comments out there even if I don't agree with or understand them. I will try to let you know I've seen them when possible and may reply if I feel it's reasonable, appropriate, and possible, of course. Thanks again for viewing this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Politics. Don't forget to come back again for tomorrow's as well.